I am Michelle with two L's. And I am Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Eye Entertainment, and we are here to give you our review, our thoughts on the new movie, Jesus Revolution, starring Kelsey Grammer and Jonathan Rumi. Uh, I'm just, we're just kind of going to give you our random thoughts just on the movie, the because I will tell you, we always give you our initial thoughts, and I know we both really enjoy this movie. Uh, I actually, Spoiler. <laughs> yeah, I actually, from the moment I saw the trailer for this movie, I was like, oh, that looks really good because this movie follows what is known as the Jesus movement, which took place in the uh, kind of late sixties and into the seventies. And, and it started in California and it follows pretty much the first like year to year and a half of that movement following uh, pastors, uh, Chuck Smith, Greg Laurie, and uh, uh, what, Lonnie Frisbee. And it, really, that that's what this movie is. Just again, the first about year and a half of that movement and following those three characters. It kind of very evenly kind of distributes yeah, amongst those right. three characters. And I, I thought they did a great job with that. This is almost like the Christian version of, say, like a Bohemian Rhapsody or <laughs> yeah, Elvis, those type movies, because it is obviously based off of Greg Laurie's uh, account, personal accounts of what, what happened. And you can even see, I actually looked up some of the live footage that they have from this, and they very closely followed it uh, to the book. So that's kind of what it's about. But as far as this movie, I thought, again, last year, you guys know, let me move. Last year, one of my favorite movies was the, uh, a Christian movie, uh, Redeeming Love. And I mentioned how it was the first time I felt a Christian movie had really up the game with kind of the artistry of it and actually making it a good movie. And this continues that. To me, this is genuinely a well-made good movie. Uh, I whether, loved it. Yes. I, I think, especially if you're a Christian, I think you'll really love it. But I think you could enjoy it if you're not. Um, yeah, I think everybody should see this. Well, and, and if you're interested, like, I have a his, little fascination. History, you yeah. Know, Believe it or not, Natalie the Red has a little bit of, uh, you know, I like history. Yeah. And certainly certain parts of history I just find fascinating, like the Jesus movement of the the hippies and kind of the Jesus revolution that that led to. So I found that topic interesting in and of itself, but then it was so well done, I thought. Yes. And I feel like, say, even the production and costume design, I thought was so on point. Like, you yeah. truly are taken back to the late 60s in Southern California. Right. And if you enjoy, I, I enjoyed just that element. And I thought the cinematography was beautiful. There were so many stunning shots that this, that whoever did the cinematography for yeah. this movie got. And I, again, I thought the movie was. Uh, the the music even behind it was very good, but the cinematography was excellent. The acting was excellent. This yeah. movie surprised me how much I laughed in this movie. That like yeah, they actually kind of hit the mark on like a, humor, humor, right? Yeah, it, and it bounced back. I will tell you, uh, tears streamed down my face at times, yeah, and then times. and then I would laugh. It would get you laughing at, just after it got Which some to tears. Me is kind of hallmark of a great movie it is it is and i will say uh i know he plays jesus on the chosen uh jonathan Rumi. he has excellent comedic timing it is mostly him who will make you laugh throughout this movie uh, i always had a feeling jesus <laughs> would have a good sense of humor yes but he does an excellent job they all do everyone did an excellent job i thought with this movie and again it's 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 a touching and if you really just kind of are looking for a movie in fact, there's a line towards the end of this movie it's uh, very, it's that, quotable. that is given by the New York Times, uh, or no, the Times, just the Times uh, reporter. He he says, you know, in a, in a time where the country is so divided, uh, you can find hope in there. And he points to Calvary Chapel. And it's kind of that way with this movie, I think. Like in a time where things are very divided, this movie is very hopeful. And I think if this makes sense, it's like it it, it came at a good time. Yes, too. definitely. Like, yeah, just even today and like things happening. Yes, absolutely. That's why I quoted that. I just, yeah, I felt that even <laughs> applies for today, uh, what, what he said in that movie. And yeah, very hopeful, uplifting. I would say kind of themes that are in this movie are, because it's about people seeking truth and finding truth. So I would say truth and hope and love, acceptance is right. kind of the themes of this movie. Uh, but and, and I like that. And I, I was telling Michelle last night after we saw it that um, it, it doesn't also like it, it doesn't make 
Christians look like, oh, these are our characters and we're going to make them perfect. And like they didn't have any flaws because that quite mm -hmm. simply is never true, obviously. And sometimes non-Christian movies do that with characters. So, I mean, really that that happens. But I'm glad that they did make it like you see their flaws and some of their internal flaws and things like that. Like, I just I like that, that for Christians and non-Christians alike, people are always just people at the end of the day. Yes. You know, and to show that. like Yes, that is a fantastic point. In fact, I, I heard a uh, uh, Pastor Lori speaking about this movie, and he said that that they wanted to make an authentically like Christian movie, but in being authentically Christian, you will see that no one was perfect. Like they all had their flaws, and and not that they were show some horrible flaws, just like the the element of being human, uh, pride, things like that that can kind of arise uh, within human beings. And I thought I do think that was an excellent. I thought that was excellent within the movie. It Again, was just, you guys, like, so I, good. I'm not even giving many details away. It, it just, it was so good. Like, please go see it. It was, like, yeah. Honestly, it's so, yeah. Like, so, you, you need to see it. So, we're going to give our rating. I think you kind of get a feeling where this is going. <laughs> On uh, our scale of five hoots, feed five being the top level of enjoyment, I give Jesus Revolution. Five out of five hoots. I give it five and a half out of five. <laughs> it was excellent. Me. And definitely, again, if you are someone uh, who maybe gets tired of just kind of all the junk Hollywood puts out, go support a movie like this. Because this, you well, know, movies she'll like... tell you about the, the truth, yeah. you know? Too. Well, you know, movies like Redeeming Love, now Jesus Revolution they are getting more money put into them because people are supporting them. So I want that to continue. I want uh, movies like this or Christian theme movies to have this level of production and, and the, quality. And, and this encourages me so much and excites me to see where you yeah. know, the Christian movie genre can go because they're starting to prove, uh, well, I mean, even with less money, they can do a really good job. Like this movie is excellent. It's excellent. Again, it will transport you to Southern California in the late 1960s. The clothes, the cars, everything, the music. It had a great soundtrack and actually uh, secular songs yeah, that are very yeah. well known and liked. I enjoyed it quite a bit. That was played throughout it. But yeah, excellent movie. And I, I will say this on that and then I'll close. Uh, it kind of made me think, uh, Kurt, Kurt Cameron, some of those early movies, they crawled so Jesus Revolution could run. <laughs> like that, That's kind of where we are at this point. Uh, we, so but yeah, we see you and, and we, we salute, salute you. you. So uh, definitely go support Jesus Revolution. If you like history, if you like movies, uh, historical movies set in a different time period. If you need a movie about hope and truth. If uh, you like hope, if you like redemption, yeah. if you like... Yeah, yeah like go all these see things, it. Good things. You know, why not go see Yeah, it? definitely. It's a great movie for the family. Take your whole family. Go see J Jesus Revolution and theaters now. Uh, but yeah, uh, so share your thoughts. Have you seen it? Are you thinking about seeing it? Share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give the video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a force of light. light. All right. Bye, bye guys.